Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user asked me how do you cut something out on the Glowforge and then also add the cool details on the inside. So I found a way to make that happen. Let me show you how easy it can be. First step is to begin by tracking down an image that fits what you want. I'm gonna play with a hot air balloon and you can see I found this one right here by doing a search for icons. I wanted a hot air balloon icon. I wanted it to have an outside edge that would be the cut and then the inside edge would be the details. Once I found it, I right clicked and I did save image as and I dropped that little critter in my clip art folder. Once I had that piece of clip art, I visited picksvg.com. I uploaded by just doing upload the picture, and then I went through the different filters to find one that showed me the lines I wanted. So if we click on invert one, you can see it has interesting edges. Invert two, I could have made work maybe, except those lines, they got to be bad. If I change the details to strong, you can see how that adjusts it. And you just go through until you find the one that you want. Once again, I just wanted the outside edge of this, so I chose Ready 2. I'm going to go down to my one I just picked, and I'm going to download that SVG. And then I just put it in my clip art folder. And since I already saved this earlier, right now I'm just going to hit Cancel. My next step is to edit that file in Inkscape. So I do file, open, find my balloon one SVG, and when it opens, you are presented with this design right here. I wanna cut the outside edges, and I wanna cut the outside of this little guy, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just click the nodes, and when you click on the shape, you've got all of these little pieces. I wanna get rid of everything in the middle. There's probably a one-click way to do this, but a lot of times I just like to go through it with brute force. So I'm just gonna grab as many as I can without touching the outside edge and then delete them with the delete key. It ends up being super quick and it's real easy to double check and see if I got them all when I'm done. I'll show you how simple it is to clean up that whole mess in just a few quick strokes. Notice you can drag to the right or left. You want to make sure you don't get any of the outside ones. And then when you're done, I'm going to keep all of those. i got to get this side here. This one, this one. Accidentally grabbed a handle, but it's no big deal because I'm going to delete those pieces anyhow. Anytime you make a mistake, like pretend I went out there, you can just do Control Z and back up to where you really wanted to be. And then we need to turn on an outline for this. So I am going to right click on the color red and I'm going to set the stroke. I'm going to click on my stroke properties and I want to go to the stroke style and I want to make it 0.5 millimeters or one millimeter. You can take your pick. But this gives us that beautiful outline we're looking for that we're going to cut. When I hit delete, I can get rid of that last little piece. And then I'm going to left click on the no fill button and I have already got the sweet piece that I want to cut out. If you want to cut out the seagull, do the same thing except the seagull doesn't have any special details. You can just left click on the no fill and right click on the set stroke and then set that stroke to the 0.5 millimeters or 1 millimeter that you used on the other piece. When you're done with that, do file save as and you could call this like 1A. I'm going to call it 1B because I already made one and I need another. With that little piece built, it is time to move to the Glowforge. I'm going to start, I'm going to start a new project, upload my parts. We're going to start with that balloon 1B and bring it in. I'm going to be playing with cardboard because I don't really need this. I'm just having fun with it. I'm going to set it to my cardboard cutting numbers that I know work. Uh, this kind of cardboard I can do with 200 speed and four millimeters thick. And then I'm going to bring in the original image to do the cool scoring that gives it the extra sweet designs when we're done. So here is my balloon PNG. Once it is in, I simply need to adjust the two designs until they fit the way I want. Let's do a quick zoom, pan, and get those oriented so that the shading will be on the inside. 
And then since I'm using cardboard, I'm going to use kind of crazy numbers to uh, get this to turn out the way I want. Because um, I don't want to cut all the way through, which it's easy to cut cardboard. So I've got this lined up so that the shading is on the inside. For my settings, I'm going to engrave. I'm going to use this 1512, but I'm going to change it and make sure I've got my 4 millimeter focus. I'm going to back off big time to uh, 15 lines per centimeter, one pass, and I'm going to do 50 for the power. I'm ready to let it roll, so when I hit print, it is going to cut the outside edges and it's going to shade the cool details on the inside. Let's tap that magic button and let the Glowforge go to work. So there you have it, in almost no time, a sweet cutout hot air balloon with cool details. Alrighty friends, so I know there are fancier ways to get those things selected, but I love just using brute force and getting it done, and you can't argue the results are pretty sweet, and if you're just learning, this is a fun and fantastic way to start. Friends, if you found the video useful, please hit that like button. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.